Hello and welcome to the video. Today we're going to discuss the proper way to put our reeds on our clarinet mouthpieces and our saxophone mouthpieces. You know, we go over this uh, as a, you know, a beginner, we, we talk about it a lot, how to do this and you know, how to put it on there. And the way I teach you as a beginner is a lot about just the safety and protection of the reed because reeds are expensive and when you're first starting out, it's very easy to end up breaking your reeds. Um, not by carelessness, but just sometimes you just get out of order, out of sequence. There's a lot going on. There's a lot to remember as a beginning clarinetist or uh, a saxophonist. And sometimes you just get the, the order that I, you know, that I want you to do it in out of, out of sequence. And we can end up breaking our reeds or damaging our reeds or worse, damaging our mouthpieces. And hopefully, um, by watching this, it'll can just be a little reminder as to the order that we want to put our reeds on, the safest way possible. So, let's start out with our clarinet mouthpiece. I'm going to take this off of here. So we have our reed, and of course we want to protect that reed, keep it nice and, and fresh and useful and make sure that we don't have any chips or dents or dings or bends on any of our reed. So got to be extremely careful with this. Now again, it's that edge of the reed that is the most likely to get damaged. And if you can see, if I'm holding this, hold it just right, you can see that the top of the reed or the very tip of the reed right here is so thin that the light is shining through it. And it's very, very fragile. We should only touch this part of the reed down here, this thicker part of the reed, the part of the reed that does not go in our mouth. Um, if we touch the top of that reed, it's a very strong likelihood that we could damage that reed. And it can make it, if not unplayable, it, at least more difficult to play. And so we want to be able to protect the end of that. So when we go to put our reed on, you know, I always say, you know, for clarinetists, just to give us a little more space to hang on to the clarinet. Before we put our whole clarinet together, I usually just put the barrel and the mouthpiece on. You connect those two first thing. And then we're gonna take our ligature and we're gonna put our ligature onto our mouthpiece. Now again, just as like in beginning lessons, you, it only goes one way. If you put it on this way, it just will not fall into place. So you just turn it over and Put it in place like that. Then we're going to take our reed. Of course, our reed has been pre-moistened. We've either had it in our mouth while we're starting the beginning assembly, or even if you've taken it over to the sink and gotten a little bit wet. Newer reeds, of course, are going to take a little bit longer to be playable um, as far as getting them moistened up. You don't want to get them sopping wet, and you do want to dry them off a little bit. You just want to get the in, get that reed just wet enough so it can start to play for you. If it's too wet, it becomes difficult to play and becomes, you know, you, you get that spitty sound into the horn. So we're going to take this. Now I always have my thumb and my first finger where I can move that ligature up and down onto the mouthpiece. And then we just take the reed and now there's a rounded side and the flat side. The flat side usually has the name of the, the brand of the reed on there and the strength. And then we take it and we're just going to slide it in there. So I push that ligature up so that it's up into the opening of the mouthpiece. And I take the reed with my thumb, touching only this bottom part, and I push it down and let it fall into place. And then I'm going to take my ligature without even making any adjustments and just kind of slide it into place because that ligature now is going to become like a, another hand for us. It's going to hold the reed in place so that we can make the fine adjustments to the reed. Now, as you can see right here, this reed is too low because you can see a lot of black coming over the top of the mouthpiece. It's not necessarily straight. You know, it could be off to the side like this. All that is okay for this part of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our thumb and hold it in place. And then we're just going to kind of gently pull that ligature down, and just make the fine adjustments to our reed. Now what we want is to have just a little bit of the reed sticking over the top of the mouthpiece. Now as a beginner, I usually tell you, 
don't do this. I usually have you put it even or just below it, just slightly. And the only reason I say that for a beginner is because it's very easy for a beginner to chip the mouthpiece, or the, excuse me, chip that reed as they're putting it into your mouth the first you know month or so of playing. Once you get established and you're more comfortable with it, you know we raise it up and get a little bit. You can see just a little bit of light coming through the top of that mouth or coming through that reed. I'll hold it just right. So we've got it lined up. We've got it the right distance from on the mouthpiece, just slightly above the, the top of the mouthpiece. And it's lined up as far as straight. It's going straight up and down. So now I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna snug up these ligature screws. You don't wanna over tighten them because it's a very thin metal. And if you over tighten, you can actually tear this and you'll need to get a new one. As soon as you start to see any tearing or fraying in the metal through here, it's time to get a new ligature. And they do wear out because they are metal and they are going back and forth and just wearing. But you can make it last a lot longer if you don't over tighten that. So then there's our ligature. It's down below the top of the mouthpiece. It's not sticking up here. If it is, you just make adjustments with the ligature. Our reed, as you can see, is nice and straight. If I turn it over, you can just barely make out the top of the reed. If we put too much reed above it, it, it becomes, uh, you don't get a very good sound either. So there's, there is a, a spot where you want to go and it usually, like I say all the time, use your ears. Is it a sound that you think is a good sound? If it is, then you've got the reed in the, in the correct spot. So you want to find that spot that works best. So now let's look at the saxophone. Now the saxophone, same thing. We're gonna take that mouthpiece and connect it to the neck. Again, this just gives us a little more room, a little more, you know, to grip onto instead of trying just to put it on there or to connect it all onto the instrument. Then we're trying to like wrestle the instrument and everything. And there's a lot more there that we just don't need to do at this point. So again, we've wetted the reed down. We're gonna take our ligature slide it into place. Now I can move it back and forth. It's freed up where I can move it back and forth. Then I'm gonna take my reed, and again, flat side down without touching the top of it, and slide it down into place. And it will fall into place, and again, take that ligature and throw it into place there and push it down. Now you can see that, that reed is not anywhere near where we need it to play, but I can take it with one hand and just my thumb and I can push it so that it's right into place. And then I take my ligature, push down a little more, and then I can make my fine adjustments by pushing back and forth. Again, keeping my fingers off of this part up here where it's gonna go into our mouth. And then I'm gonna tighten it down, or I should say don't tighten, snug these ligature screws into place. And then I'm gonna take a look at it and see. Now if I look at it here, I go, oh, now that looks like a little bit more reed above that than I would care to have. So I'm gonna loosen it up. Then I'm gonna pull it down just a little bit. Let me find that spot that we're happy with. Tighten down those ligature screws again. And then we look again, and there we go. So that's kind of where we want that reed to be each time. Okay. So again, you put your mouthpiece in your barrel or your neck, depending on the instrument. Put those together. Your reed is moistening up in your mouth at this point. You take your ligature out, you slide it onto the mouthpiece again, and then you put your reed into place. And that should prevent any accidental chips or breakage of your reed as you're trying to assemble your instrument. And again, another good idea, as soon as you put your reed on, grab your mouthpiece cap, slide it on there, and then assemble the rest of your instrument because then it's gonna again, protect that reed 
from any accident accidents that could happen you know stands moving there's a lot of moving parts going on you know if there's 30 40 50 and even up to 90 people in our bands and we have all this movement trying everyone trying to get their things to right together at the same time accidents can happen so we always want to be as safe as possible so we're going to make sure we keep that on there and when it's time to play you can pull it off and play and even in between songs changing music and everything if you want to do that put that cap back on that's not a bad idea just keep it on your music stand and use it as needed well hopefully this video has cleared up any issues uh, you may have had or if not has just reinforced what you already know um, if you have any questions please stop by and see me see ya <laughs>